president is sexual nation and other bank or kufuado or charge me say i should make sure no party executives are hired in the process on person obeja legacy be a a kumkwasi a fat party for any of you know or person you build a neutral public service so neutrality is one of the principles of public service and political neutrality and you know yeah 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 and right Okay. control to save the president. party for I'm telling you, I'm going to operate with assumptions. Because I don't know that that's working with party people. Say your name is And someone, as someone said, we'll see Already know who who who. Your statement is paving way for group easily. Mosi maminga, who bought three kosa kutre? Who see mami mo ba I have to let him know. I have to let ba wumiya know. The papago is causing damage to him. The guy in himself the best man. In the year kotwa man. Now we the best man is all the chief of staff. Tell me about permanent Obia, Obia, I have some be Okay, so you heard that. That was uh, Kennedy uh, Japan, uh, who was damning Ken Atifa for making, uh, for saying that. But uh, this article by by Gabriel Trilak. We think that uh, it sort of explains the matter in a certain way, and we want to walk you through it, you know, and then uh, when we walk you through it, you can take your own decision. This is N N NPP insiders. I ask you to pay attention to this. So let's go and read what Gabriel Trilak wrote. So he starts, he says that we should go easy on Kenneth Ajiman Atifa. I don't know why he uses his full name, but let's go on. He clearly could have phrased his words intelligently and with basic sensitivity. He had no business stamping his feet on the expectations and hopes of unemployed party loyalists with such reckless callosity. Hmm. <laughs> Gabi says that what Atefa did is reckless callosity. Okay, let's move on and see what, what else he says. Very unwise, he says, and some may even say selfish, considering that he lost this same job when MPP lost in 2008, only to regain it after MPP regained office. At least, his memory and self-benefit ought to have even guided his tongue and stopped him from speaking out of turn. So Gabi's point here is that Atefa himself is a beneficiary of uh, a political movement at the top of the political echelons of Ghana state. That when it was, he had this job as NIA director, when the National Democratic Congress won office in 2009, they took him out because he was believed to be an MPP person. They brought other people in. He regained the job eight years later um, when the MPP came into office. So on that basis alone, Professor Atefa May should have perhaps been more sensitive to some of these uh, party loyalists who came around looking for jobs on the basis that they are MPP party loyalists. But let's go on. He says, Gabi says a lot more than that. Okay, my good friend Ken, referring, I believe, to Kenneth, Kenneth Japon, should check his excitement levels when he has audience. Ah, no, sorry, he's still referring to Ken Atifa. He says, my good friend Ken should check his excitement levels when he has an audience. It helps. The bad way he said what he actually meant to say is what had caused this whole controversy. I do not think he meant it as it came out. Surely... He couldn't have, and I know so to be the case. His loyalty to the party and party members has never been in doubt. But he is also a true patriot, a Ghanaian always eager to serve his nation. That's, that's good for Kenatefa, by the way. But surely, Kennedy Japan does not agree with that. Because uh, Gabi Ochodaku is saying that from what he knows of Atefa, uh, he's a true party person, but he's also a nationalist, he's also a patriot, and he's always eager to serve his nation. He's already said that what he said was, with, was said with reckless callosity, uh, but he now says that Kanatefa is otherwise a, a cool guy, you know. So please be kind to him. NPP people. Okay, in this case, he jammed a foot in his mouth and shot from the hip. 
when the nozzle was aimed at his own family jewels, so to speak. He must apologize and let's move on. Now here, uh, Mr. Tridako is, is making a call onto Ken Atefa. It's almost like an instruction that my brother, you have erred in this matter, the way you spoke, you spoke very badly. You must apologize. We don't know whether you agree with him or not. This is not our view, by the way. This is not the views of Good Evening Ghana. We are only sharing with you the views of Gabriel Tridako, a key member of the uh, NPP administration, or NPP party, I should say. This is really a party matter, and we are sharing it because uh, Ken Atefa has said something. Kennedy at Japan, uh, who cannot be ignored in the MPP, has also said something, and he's very, very angry. So this seems like the middle way, and we are just giving you all the opinions uh, there is. If you want to know what my personal opinion is, uh, when we meet at the weekend, when we are, well, I don't know where you are watching the Euro 2020, 2021, but when we meet when we are watching it, you can ask me that. For now, it's not for my personal opinion. My personal opinion comes in the next segment when we deal with the NDC matter. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Gabi goes on. He says, use this as a measure. Do you actually believe Akufado will tell him or anybody in his capacity to employ, quote, no party executive, unquote? I mean, how, Gabi says. Those engaged nationwide to do NIA registration. Are there no MPP polling station executives among them? Again, I doubt if in reality the NIA staff role under Ken Atefa doesn't even have an MPP bias. Gabi is being brutally frank and honest here. He's making the point that, look, Akufado can never tell uh, Ken Atefa to do this. It's not possible that Akufado will say that. But in any case, the people who are really working at NIA now, there are MPP people there. The NIA people who are working across the nation, they are MPP people from the polling stations who are working for the NIA over there. They are working for the NIA as a state organization. They got there uh, with their certificates, but also because they are MPP people. That is the reality of the situation. We know in Ghana, toilets change when party changes. It's not just in Ghana. It happens in America as well. Washington, D.C. has completely changed because the Democrats are in power. The Republicans have gone. The Democrats have come. That's one of the demerits of party politics that we learned in school. But there are merits of party politics for any social science phenomenon. There are demerits and there are merits. So you can call this one of the demerits. But I like what Gabi is saying because he's being brutally frank. That the truth of the matter is that there are MPP people in there. So it's not possible that Akufado would even say that. It's illogical. And he believes that Akufado never told Ken Atefa what Atefa says Akufado told him. Okay. Uh, this one. It says, but... The principle must not be lost on us at all. Recruitment must not be based on party lines. You are a loyal citizen and, a comp and competent, and that must matter. It is important Ghanaians believe this to be the case. Aside NPP and NDC, there are millions of Ghanaians who may not be loyalists of any party. So, where do they stand in our democracy if a party card is what guarantees one, one's employment in a public institution. That's an age-old question. So we are now talking about, Gabi is saying that, however that the undertones of employment in such institutions are partisan, meritocracy, meritocracy must always become part and parcel of the way in which we recruit people. Because at the end of the day, he says, there are Ghanaians who are neither NDC or they are NPP. Just this evening, Metro TV has uh, completed a broadcast, the people we took over from, of the CPP guys who are broadcasting their uh, CPP stuff. So they are CPP people, and uh, they don't have a member of parliament. Uh, it's only NDC and MPP, but that's changing. Uh, hopefully that could change in 2024. So the point Gabby is making here, which I, I agree with him, is that let's find a way, a constructive way, and a deliberate way to bring meritocracy into the appointment of state institutions. Because with meritocracy, it will not matter your party color, but you can get in based on your competence, your strength, and your loyalty to your nation. That's what meritocracy is about. We must bring it in. For now, though, we cannot run away from the fact that the undertones and the underpinnings of these appointments are partisan, NDC, MPP, all the time. But let's bring meritocracy in. He hints that that may be the point that Ken Atefa wanted to make. Atefa wanted to make the point that let's have a meritorious NIA with skilled people or people with the right skill set. Okay, let's move on. NPP should not fight this. NPP should rather see the positive spin in what he meant to say, which is that for this party, it is Ghana first. If you are good at what you do, 
and can be trusted to work in accordance with the mandate and direction of the government and specifically the said institution, don't think only a party card can get you in. That's how we build a nation. So Gabi is saying that, let us get a positive spin of what uh, can Atefa is saying. Let's put a, let the MPP put a positive spin upon it. Let them say that Atefa is saying what we are. We are a party that believes in Ghana first. That's going to be very difficult to achieve in the circumstances of how the, con the matter has sparked controversy and MPP people are in arms. But this is the way really we have to go. Meritocracy first and, the, and then and Ghana first as well when we are employing people into the public institutions. Because in this second term of Akufuado, I believe that the government is going to be focused on jobs. Because without delivering of jobs, the young people are not going to be happy with the government. The government has delivered something the first term. They have to deliver the employment quotient in the second term. Okay. Ah, that's it. Okay. So that's... Uh, that's Gabi Achidaku's statements. How many slides? One, two, uh, three. Uh, okay, not that many. Not that many. Beautifully written, though. Beautifully written. Beautifully written. Uh, so it will be on video on demand. You can see it.